Hello, hello, hello. Let me put my phone off and get some stuff out of the way. How are you folks out there in YouTube land? Hello, hello, hello. Anyway, I see two people on. Hi, Brandy. Thank you for coming. How are you? Have you been? I'm in a bit of a funk myself still again. <laughs> Slump, funk, I don't know. So, but I thought I'd come on or everybody's going to stop watching. <laughs> anyway. Thank you to whoever gave me the thumbs up already. <clears throat> it says two people are watching. I don't know if that one of them's me or not. I'm just on regular YouTube today. I didn't do the uh, stream yard or whatever it's called. So... Hi, Nick. How are you? Hope everybody's doing well. The weather here has been really nice, although today it's it's, uh, it's supposed to rain. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. You've not been good? Ooh, sorry. Or the weather has not been good. <laughs> I don't know. I feel okay. I'm just... I don't know. We had some beautiful weather over the weekend and I got some stuff done around the house outside and in on the patio and everything. And then I just kind of lost the mojo again. <laughs> However, I did get a Stampin' Up! box here today, but I don't think I'm going to show that on this live. Um, anyway, the first thing I want to do, these are all just backgrounds I've been playing with and I'll, I'll share them with you in a few minutes. Um, this is, is the drawing from last Tuesday Night Live, and it's for this book that I did on my uh, Fun Fold Friday. No, not Fun Fold Friday. Rainbow Color Challenge Green a week ago, not the one from... Anyway, I had said that I would give this away, and I don't think I ever did a drawing for this. I hope I didn't. <laughs> So, the people that commented on last Tuesday night had to do with blogs. Do you go to blogs or not? And so, here are the names. And I'm just going to pull these numbers and wrinkle them up and put them in this little thing again. As soon as I find number one. Okay. Here's number one. Number one is Rebecca Bullock. Number two is Kathy's cards. And it was people mostly only go to blogs, it seemed like, to get dimensions of cards. Some people never go to blogs. Oh, no. I'm so sorry about that. I'm glad you're getting better, though. Thank you, Brandy. I appreciate it. Okay, number three is Stamp Girl Page. Number four is Tina's Crafty Life. Number five is Nick's Crafty Corner. Hi, Caster. I'm cat sitting. Hi, Caster. Come here. Hi, Tracy Born again. Hey, kitty. Come here. I have my daughter's cat up here with me this time. <laughs> Number six is Made by Two Hands with Love, Denise. Number seven is Karen Kramer. And number eight is Georgia Hoke. H-O-E-K. Hoke. Okay. That lighting is... Oh, hang on. I have to put a different light on. Two. Because we have too much. Oh, I just scared him. I'm sorry. It's all right. Come here. Come on. It's all right. I think he thought I was going to chase him down the steps. Oh, well. So anyway, that's what this drawing is for. So I'm going to do that. Shake them. And 
then, okay, I'm going to turn away and pull a number. And then it's this one. Which is number one. Who's number one? Number one is Rebecca Bullock. So, Rebecca, I don't know that I have your address. If you watch this in replay. So, email me. Uh, my email's down below and or will be in the bottom of the video. And, um, yeah, Rebecca is our winner for that. So I hope she likes that. And if she doesn't send me her address, I am going to have a new policy. If people don't get back to me in two weeks with their address, I'm going to redraw because I have a couple of them for my 2K um, giveaways also. All right. Yeah, so congratulations. Hi, Karina. Did I miss anybody else? No, I don't think so. Okay, so before I get into doing the, um, I'm really not going to do cards today. I'm just going to show you what I've been doing this morning because this morning is the first time I've crafted since last week, honestly, <laughs> since Saturday. All right, paper pumpkin coming up. You have to order by, get on the subscription list by September 10th if you want the Halloween box. Let me, something's not right here. All right, trying to make sure I'm in frame. <laughs> oh, this camera, I don't know. Nope, this way. If I turn it this way, it looks straighter on screen, but it's crooked to me. Oh, well. Um, so anyway, the um, Halloween box is coming out, and it says, Bon Appetit. You need a hand with Halloween, so they have all these hands around, so... I don't know. I'm guessing it has something to do with bones <laughs> and it's purple on the outside of the box. So if you are interested in that, it's $22 plus whatever tax you have in your area and you have to sign up by September 10th. And there's a, a direct link to Paper Pumpkin down below all my videos as well. And you can sign up there. Okay, so that's the first thing. Here's my August host code up until September 4th. At, at which point I'm going to be announcing Nick's Crafty Corner um, party. Okay, now see, this is looking backwards to me again. Oop, hi, Caster. <laughs> you silly, you're a climber. Callie's not a climber. Um, anyway, it's Z4UV3UXG in case it's backwards. Oh, gosh, now everything's falling. I'm kind of a mess. <laughs> Okay, and if you have bonus day coupons, you only have till August 31st, which is Saturday, I think. Yeah, she's going to have a party starting September 4th, Brandy. So get your wish lists ready and help out next for um, having her party for me, with me. Uh, Justine's party finished and she did well. And, uh, in fact, she just received her goodies the other day. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, August August 1 to 31, you had to use any coupons you got in July for bonus days. Okay, so that's that. And then the only other thing I wanted to bring up is that starting in September, September 4, not only are we going to have the holiday catalog, but Stampin' Up! did this last year, and they're going to do it again only in September, the 4th through the 30th. There are some of the annual catalog designer series papers are going to be buy three, get one free. They did this last year. I'm sorry, this thing is bouncing again. Um, hang on. Did it stop? So here's the list. If I can get it. So you might want to take a screenshot. These are the pages 166 to 160, so 165 to 167 of the annual catalog, but it's only these papers. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for coming. I saw your Bobcat picture video. That was pretty cool. A little scary, maybe, but cool. Very pretty animal. <laughs> if you're a cat person like I am, especially. Um, so the ones that are going to be in part of this buy three, get one free are perennial essence. See a Silhouette, which is the one that's real bright, bold colors. Come Sail Away, which, of course, is the, um, you know, sailing paper, the nautical papers. Magnolia Lane. Um, I don't even see that one on here. 
garden lane, which mostly is all greens. Follow your art, which is like the paint brushes, the thread, the bobbins, the buttons. Woven threads, which is more this, um, it has all the new in colors in it, but it's more like vintage kind of style. Dyna Roar designer series paper, which is more geared towards young children, boys especially, or girls that like dinosaurs. Bird Ballad, which is the one that has this paper in it, and this, these two. And Pressed Petals, which is my pretty much favorite one that has the um, rose and also blue and burlap looking uh, pressed flowers. That's what it says, Pressed Petals. So, yeah, that was pretty amazing to see that in your yard. I, so that's why I sent a, I wrote a message about the bobcat and said, is that normal for your area? Because I always think of them as like mountain lions and stuff. So anyway, so another good thing, if you want some paper, some pretty papers, buy three of these and get one free. And that starts September 4th and is only good in September, along with the holiday catalog goes live September 4th. Now that goes all the way till like January 2nd or something like that. So anyway, that's it for the business part. I'll leave this up. Is this backwards to you guys? Because it's sure showing backwards. Um, okay. So I just want to show you what I've been working on. And honestly, it's, it was more just to motivate me to do something because, oh, okay, the Florida Panther. Um, so anyway, it's not backwards good. Thank you. So the first thing I felt like doing was playing with the Delicata metallic inks um, and refills. So I, as of this morning, I only had the big silver pad. But I have the three refills in silver, gold, and copper. And then in my stash from pre-stampin' up, I had these. They are the same brand. And it's for, they actually have a bronze on. But gold, silver, copper, and then bronze. But what I thought I'd try was um, using this um, decorative mask, which is the same as a stencil. This is new in the holiday catalog. I got it all stickied up, but um, so I put that down first and then I used white embossing powder because I wanted the trees to look white. And then I took, um, well, actually the very first one I did was this one <laughs> and I used all three colors. Uh oh, what you doing, Castor? You're exploring, huh? All right, settle down. No, you can't come up here. Uh -uh, sorry, he wants to jump up and I can't have that. No, you can't come up. It's all right. You lay down, go downstairs and play. Anyway, I took my water water pen and just put, um, these are done with the refills. I actually started out just taking this and swiping it across, but it didn't come up with enough color on the watercolor paper. So then I just put a dot of um, of the ink um, right down on the paper, actually. And I used my watercolor brush and went over it. And, of course, the, the embossing powder, the white embossing powder. Um, well, actually, this one wasn't embossed. Then that one I smeared, okay? And then what I did on this one is I took my white... Uh, Whisper White Pigment Ink Pad, which comes with a blank pad and then the refill for the Whisper White. <laughs> this is so funny. This cat never comes near me, and now all of a sudden he wants to be near me because I'm talking, I guess. I don't know. He loves my son. Castor, you want to show your face? If you get up here, you will take up the whole thing. Um, so what I did is I took the... Um, this and I just took a dauber, finger dauber, hang on, I have one, and went through it. And it would have been an okay, no, caster, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, maybe I shouldn't have done live. This is, I'm cat sitting until, um, I forget what day, Friday or Saturday. My 
my uh, daughter and her family are at the Disney World. They went to the Disney Halloween parade last night and had a blast, they said. So, all right, come here. I have to show Castor. Come here. Oh, he's a big boy. Here's Castor. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, you can knock everything down. Okay. I call him Kanga Cat because he's like a kangaroo. <laughs> the camera is on. What? Yeah. And he's been really funny lately. You know, my son works second shift and um, he sleeps all, almost all day. Usually he gets up now and he'll go back to sleep when my son leaves for work probably. And he hides under his bed. So last night he was under my son's bed when he got home from work. And my cat, the other cat, was on his bed. So <laughs> they're all into Christopher right now. But anyway, around the time my son shuts the kitchen lights off and stuff to, to go to sleep, Castor wakes up. And the only way I can shut him up from meowing is to feed him wet food. So they've been getting their wet food at like 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> and then we can go back to sleep. So funny. Hi, Paige. We're just talking about kitties. Yeah, this is Castor. That was his name at the shelter. We both adopted on the same day. But he wants to come back up again. But I can't let him do that. Oh, sorry, Castor. You have to stay down. But I ruined this side because I took this stamp. Um, so getting back to this. I took this stamp, which is beautiful. I love this. And I stamped it in copper. And then I was going to try moving it a little to get a motion thing. And I just hated it. So... But I do like the way the chalk white on the shiny background looks. So then I just flipped it over. And on this one, I did the embossing first of the trees with heat embossing with uh, white powder. So this one, I went over the stencil with Versamark first. Then I heat embossed the trees. And then I did the silver wash and a little bit of gold down here and, and blended a little bit. Um, and that was good, except you do have to go onto the heat embossed parts and kind of dab them off because the gray, the silver, or the gold will bubble up on top of the white. And I, I just wanted them more fresh, like no color on them. There's a little bit peeking through and I like that because birch trees and stuff have the gray peeking through, but, um, yeah, so this one got shadows, and then this one was a fail, too, though, because I stamped the deer after I did the heat embossing trees, and obviously get a tree through the deer, so that didn't work. <laughs> I love that stamp, too, and the thing about this stamp, this is available September 4th, um, and for every purchase people make of this one, Stampin' Up! will donate $3 to a mental health awareness uh, organizations. So that starts September 4th. It's called Nature's Beauty. And it's all the way in the back of the holiday catalog. And the number is 150528 if you're interested. I think it's 21 or $22, but don't, it's 20 something. Don't hold me to, to that price though. So then, <laughs> anyway, after that fail, um, I did this one. This time, though, I made a mask. And so I stamped the deer and I put them on the paper. I just tacked them down with a little bit of um, snail and unsticky, unsticky it a little bit so it would come back up. Laid that down like, like that. And then I put the mask down. And then I did the Versamark and the embossing, heat embossing with the white embossing powder. So then this time, um, I didn't take the pads and rub and I only use silver and a little bit of gold and it gives a lot of shimmer and sparkle. There you can probably see it good. And I was actually thinking I could pop this up on dimensionals too. Um, you do have to make sure everything is dry in the background. I had to do his little ear three times because it wouldn't, it wouldn't stick, but at least the tree's not going through his body this time. So I, I got smart finally. <laughs> Hi, Clay. That's fine. I just started at, um, I don't know, 15 minutes ago or so. So thank you for joining us. We're just going to be talking about 
what I've been playing with this morning today. And we already did the drawing for this from last week, and it's Rebecca Bullock. Um, so if she comes on, I don't know if she, a lot of people work during the day, so I don't know if she'll be coming on or not. So I'm just going to keep this mask in my Nature's Beauty stamp set. And um, this, I will make it into a card or something, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do the card yet. So then I was still playing with the this, and this is just a scrap I had of gray granite, I think. And I again just did the um, white, whisper white with the finger dauber. And I kind of like that. It's a real soft background and it's not sparkly, but that can be used for anything. So, yeah, real soft. Thank you, Karina. And then I pulled out the little bunny and I did do the motion thing and it turned out okay. So I will be using this also. This is on Very Vanilla and I think I stamped it with gray granite, which is sort of a brown gray as opposed to a blue gray. So just to show you the difference, here's gray granite and here's smoky slate. Smoky slate, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the difference. Smoky slate is more of a blue gray and this one's more of a brown a little brown in it, or yellow gray, I guess they call it. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Anyway, I stamped the bunny in full force because he's it towards the front because it looks like he's hopping that way. And I just hopped. After you do that, you use the same stamp and you just stamp again and again. So instead of stamping off to, um, you know, once with the dark, you just stamp the dark, then stamp again with the same stamp, not re-inking, and then again to get the lighter images and it makes it look like motion. And I actually just saw somebody do that on a video this morning. And I thought, I've never seen anybody do that before. So I wanted to try it. And I'm like, that I think will look pretty cool. I just have to figure out what kind of card I'm going to put it on, what I'm going to put in the background and all that kind of stuff. So that was the next one. Then I got away from that and I just pulled out the birch background stamp. Um, which looks like this and all I used was a piece of whisper white paper and this time I think this is gray granite also possibly no I can't remember let me just see yeah pretty sure <laughs> So that's going to be a cool background, and I think I will use it with those animals, but I'm not sure how I want to do it. And I didn't miss an area. This actually is a spot, you know, this openings on the stamp and a big eye. You could actually turn it this way, and but then the trees actually have it going this way. So I don't know. I could actually cut that part off and just use this. I'm not sure what I want to do yet with that, too. Which one would look nice popped up? The bunnies or the deer? Or, or I'm not sure. The bunnies. So that's that one. And then I spent a couple more hours playing with stencils. The other new stencils include this and the polka dots and the swirls. They're all so cool. These are the new ones. And then the ones we have, uh, these will be available September 4th. They come in a pack of four, and I think they're $6, so it's not bad for four. And you just have to clean them off. And then the ones in the current catalog, the annual catalog, are the mandala, the bricks, um, these diamonds, oops, and clouds, these diamond things. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, I'll try. I might try that. I have to see, like I said, what else I do. Or maybe I'll pop them up and put a different background in the front. So I'm having fun doing mixed media today. So the first thing I did with the mask is the leaf one. And um, what I did... Uh-oh, what are you doing, Caster? Go downstairs. I, again, use finger daubers. I have this... I did not get these at Stampin' Up, but Stampin' Up sells them in, I think, a set of five or something. These little finger daubers. I'm pretty sure I got these at scrapbook.com with the little case. 
I will say though, the sponges, if you rub them, the sponges do start to break apart. And I figured that out on one of them. I was getting little spots. I'm like, why am I getting that? And I'll show that to you when we get that far. But these, and then what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm labeling them. I'm writing on them with um, white ink what they are. So I kind of put it on my finger and write with the chalk marker. This is stamping up and this works great. It also works great for writing, you know, your name and stuff on the back of cards or whatever, a dark colors cards or, or just using it in mixed media also. So anyway, I have my different colors in here, fall colors, and I used um, crushed curry, pumpkin pie, Cajun craze and crumb cake on this. And I just did a random pattern. Um, nothing specific, you know, some of them are two together and some aren't. That was intentional. So I thought that would make a pretty fall card. And then I just had this little piece of whisper white and I did the same thing. See, I'm getting little flakes and I think I was rubbing. Not sure why. Anyway, this is with the metallic ink. So I use the copper. And the ones that are darker are I actually dabbed down. And the ones that are lighter, I was rubbing. And the rubbing is where I was getting these little bits on it. And um, I think that's when my sponge was starting to break a, break a bit because... Um, Anyway, and then there's some that they lifted up a little and they got multicolor and I love that. I think I want to go back and do some of the others with multicolor. Like here, there's some copper on the silver and here. And I think there was another one. Yeah, the copper here has a little bit of gold on it. So I think that looks pretty cool and that's nice for autumn too. Thank you, Brandy. Okay, then I got into polka dots. So this is a leftover piece of, I want to say, Mango Melody, maybe. And I used Pretty Peacock and Knight of Navy on it. And that's just the dots. Um, so I, I first I was going to just do Pretty Peacock on it. And then I went over the other dots with, um, I'm sorry, with Knight of Navy on it. And then I went over the other dots with Pretty Peacock and it gave me a two-tone thing of dots, but I have no idea what I'll do with that. And then I had watched my Up 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 line do a live a week or two ago, and somebody sent her a card, and then she made another card, and she had a piece, and she said, it looks better when you don't fill the whole piece with the dots. So this was... Uh, I think this is Crushed Curry, and I used Cajun Craze on it. And I just did a few areas. So I think that kind of looks cool too. And you can put it however you want it. And then, you know, put ribbon or sentiment here or whatever. I don't know. So then I was playing with the scroll. This is a piece of Coastal Cabana with Knight of Navy, which I really think is beautiful. Yeah, I love the stencils, too. I love doing back backgrounds. Let me get out the other scroll pieces I did. The first one I did, actually, I was thinking Halloween, and here's how it turned out. So I used black, I used Versamark. So once again, I put this down, took the Versamark pad, which you, you have to make sure you clean the Versamark off your stencil soon after you're done. Um, so this is a piece of whisper white. I use the regular black, um, embossing powder. I stamp it up now. I just got in my box. I haven't opened it yet. I just got it like half an hour ago, the regular black, but they now, they also have a shimmer black stampin emboss powder. So I don't think I got it quite on right, but I still think it looks pretty cool for Halloween. And then I took a finger dauber with pumpkin pie. And it got a little blotchy, but I actually love that because it to me it almost looks like leopard skin in the back, but with the <laughs> with the um, you know the swirls and whatnot um, over it, and I think that turned out pretty cool. 
So that was that one. And then I thought, well, why don't I use that with Halloween colors? And I just went angles on this one with, um, and I think, again, this is Mango Melody as a background. I used Old Olive, Cajun Craze, and Pumpkin Pie only. And I think that came out pretty. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty backgrounds. And then, let's see. Okay, this one was another little scrap of Mango Melody. And at first, I just went over, I put Night of Navy on. But then I thought, well, what will happen if I just shift it ever so slightly, took the finger dauber with the gold delicata and went over it and it gave it a real nice shimmer um, actually over the pieces, but they it goes off the edges of the pieces a little bit. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to have that show up because I'm not seeing it on screen, which is really a shame because it's really pretty there's a little bit of sparkle showing so I really like that it gave each of the color areas some sparkle but it's a small piece and I thought well you know that all these are more fall and Halloweeny so I took that and I just used a scrap of whisper white and put Rococo rose on and I thought that'll be nice for putting a sentiment on or something and you know all kinds of things you can do yeah, on this, that's what I was saying on, especially on this one. This almost looks like an animal print. I love that one, actually. I love the the different tones because I was dabbing in some places and smearing in other places. And I think that came out pretty cool. I'm going to try it again with the shimmer black. Um, and remember to use my embossing buddy this time. <laughs> so anyway, and then let's see, did I do any more? No, then I was playing with, oh yeah, I have one more. This is a piece of basic black. <clears throat> Excuse me, I take a sip of tea. <laughs> I'm drinking jasmine green tea. Um, and I don't really love it, but I have some and I have to use it up. So anyway, it's very flowery jasmine. So this is just black and using the Delicata Silvery Shimmer. Another good one for Halloween, I think. So I guess I'll be making some fall and Halloween cards. And then I got out the bricks. Um, and originally I got out um, the bricks and I was, just wanted to make sure. I wanted to try it leaving some spots not done. My only left a little bit not done. You know, like old bricks. So again, this is Night of Navy and Coastal Cabana. Really pretty. And I'm thinking I might use the... Um, country home stamp set with this somehow um you know maybe one of these in the can here in front of it or something i don't know we'll figure it out and then this one is the black now what i did on this one is i took the first i did the whisper white and i just did certain areas and then i did the delicata silver in the rest of the areas so you kind of have a light and dark effect of the bricks hi maddie maddie and madison hello yeah i really like that too all of them actually kind of partial so that was the end of my stencil play this morning then i pulled out the pigment sprinkles again which are on page 179 of the annual um, they look like these little jars here. It's $23 for six of them. And they come in gorgeous grape, Bermuda Bay. Um, which one is this? Mango Melody, I believe. No. Daffodil Delight, Mango Melody, Granny Apple Green, and Melon Mambo, which is a pink. So, again, I had fall on the mind. So this is the first one I did. And all I used on this was um, Granny Apple Green and Mango Melody. And I think that's it. And then I just took my spritzer, which I just misplaced. Hmm. I have a spritzer that says water, water, whoops, water. I can't see that. So we can do one of these. Let me get a piece of paper. Because I'm already a mess anyway. <laughs> I'm 
fact, I'm just going to take a big sheet and I'll cut it down later. So this is a piece of the watercolor paper, the old Stampin' Up! watercolor paper. They have a new one called Fluid 100, which also should be in my box. But let me show you the other ones I did first. This one I used the same colors as the other one, but I put a couple splashes of Mango Melody on, and I love that. I think that came out looking like flowers with greens around it, like abstract painting. Hi, Christina. Thanks for joining us. So that was the second one I did. And these are sized as matte sizes for cards. And then this one I used only Bermuda Bay and um, Granny Apple Green. And you see where it doesn't dissolve completely. It leaves like dark, shiny spots, which is kind of cool. But this one didn't turn out exactly as I expected. But that's kind of the fun of this. And then the last one, these are on watercolor paper. Yes, this is too. This one is Bermuda Bay and Gorgeous Grape only, and I love that one. <laughs> if you just put a little bit of water on, you get all these different colors, because um, each color is made up of a bunch of different colors. And um, if you add a lot more water, then you get the actual, like this is the color of Gorgeous Grape, and this is the color of Bermuda Bay, so, but I, I think that's really cool. That would be an awesome bookmark or something for partial card mat. So those are the ones I did, and we've done these before, but they're just a lot of fun, and maybe not all of you have seen them. So we'll do some, and I'll show you how they work. And then, you know, I could take these stencils, right? Where's that leaf one? Here's the leaves. Or even the trees, because this is like grass and stormy sky, or that could be ocean. I don't know. Either way. But you could take your stencils and go over them, you know, and do whatever you want with them. You can use white. You can emboss them afterwards. I think this one I'm probably going to cut with dyes. Um, probably some leaf dyes or something. I'm not sure yet. Or that one maybe with the trees and have a nice fall scene i don't know i haven't decided yet so i'm playing <laughs> maddie you're quick uh, did i miss anybody else hello caster what do you want honey yes your boy's downstairs getting ready for work <laughs> all right so let's see anybody have requests for colors we have Daffodil Delight, Granny Apple Green, Bermuda Bay, Mango Melody, I'm sorry, yeah, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, and Gorgeous Grape. Those are our choices. And Maddie, I did get your package. I just haven't had a chance to, well, I've had a chance, I just haven't been into <laughs> YouTube the last few days. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, I, I go back and watch the replays because I did all kinds of different things with, um, that one's kind of a fail, with just the mass or mass and stamping and these Delicata inks that are metallic. This one's silvery shimmer. And then Stampin' Up! also has a, a full-size gold and copper. So I was playing with this one with all of them and the white chalk paint uh, ink and this one with embossing and then the metallics. So anyway, yeah, I'll just quickly show this is not embossing or backgrounds. It's motion of bunnies. And this is a background stamp in birch. And then these are the masks in fall colors in the delicata metallics. And then all these cool dots and swirls. This one's really cool for Halloween. Or whatever. What did I do with the one that I... Oh, yeah, this one. This one's the favorite. <laughs> and bricks. And shimmery bricks. And then the backgrounds with the um, pigment sprinkles, which we'll use now. 
So if you like mixed media, Stampin' Up's got you covered there too. And they've got a couple, uh, quite a few actually different stamp sets that go good for, they have tasteful textures like backgrounds. They have a vintage one. They have all kinds. Okay, Debbie, thank you. Yes, they would make good journaling cards. You're right. I don't journal much, but for those of you that make junk journals or even just journals, if you use them on a, you know, on a color that you can uh, write on that's light enough, not the black, unless you put something on the back. Yep, they would make good journaling cards. You're right. All right, well, let's just play. I'm going to use Daffodil Delight because I haven't used that yet. And put a few. You don't need a whole lot. And these are like salt and pepper shakers almost. So this looks orange, but this is yellow for sure. You just tap them. That's probably too much. Oops. <laughs> and then let's see. So we have yellow. I think we'll do yellow, pink. And, and mango, which is sort of an orange yellow. Oops, that one, I definitely got too much in one spot. So although they're $23, they last a long time. Of course, if you're using them like every day, all day, you know, <laughs> they'll go faster, but I'm going to get a piece of different um, paper toweling under here because they will run. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'm sorry I wasn't on last night. Okay, so let's see what we get. This is just a spritzer. They come in a set of two. And this one's just got water in. I have not tried it with alcohol. I wonder, maybe, maybe we'll do that next. I have one with champagne mist. Maybe we'll try that. That has alcohol and champagne mist shimmer spray. All right, so we'll do one side anyway with just water. Cool, huh? <laughs> I don't think I want to spray it a whole lot more. Maybe a little bit more is there. That's it. And then you can heat dry it or just let it dry. You can make it run. But doesn't that look like beautiful flowers blooming all over? Hi, Tanisha. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. All right. I'm going to have to heat dry this. So turn. Let's see. How do I mute this? Hmm, I don't know. No clue how to mute the YouTube video. I'm not in StreamYard. All right, guys, we'll just close your ears. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to scare the cat. Okay, I mean, you could make ATCs out of this, card fronts, memory decks cards, whatever you want. I'm glad the noise doesn't bother you. Hi, Ninja. Haven't seen you in ages. Welcome. <laughs> so I love doing this. I'm going to do another one in blues and purples, I think. Just because I can. 
maybe this time, actually, you know what? Maybe this time we'll try a corner with, um, we might do a half and half. I really like that blue and purple one, though, that I did earlier. So this is um, Gorgeous Grape, which obviously is the purple. I'm going to do a half, half in these colors. Yeah, you can. You can kind of push the puddles along, but you still get, I mean, you'll never get it exactly how you want it. That's good, Ninja. I'm glad you're still crafting. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Had to turn away and sneeze. Okay. That's the pink. Pink and purple. I'm going to I'm going to try this time on this side with champagne mist, which is the um, Stampin' Up has these all-purpose inks they have frost white which is that one and champagne which is this one and that's what i have in here and and um alcohol and you're supposed to use like 70 percent alcohol but mine is 90 something and it works just fine but shake it every time because some of the stuff does settle in the bottom The thing with alcohol is it'll dry faster. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Whew. Definitely alcohol. <laughs> so that's really sparkly because it's got the shimmer mist in with it. it. But the colors didn't quite bleed as much. So let me give it a spritz with some water too. I should have done that first maybe. So that's water and alcohol now. Okay, cool. Look at that. Can you see the shimmer? Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, that'll dry a lot faster. And now let's do a, this side over here with green and blue, maybe. Green, blue, and... and So this is going to be Granny Apple Green, which doesn't look green. It looks orange when it comes out. It's weird how they change. I'm just making card backgrounds and stuff. Um, so I'm going to be cutting this up into a couple different card mats. And then I'll put sentiments on and stamp or something on them. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. You have to watch the replay and you'll see the other ones I made too. So let me close that up better. Okay. So I used the Granny Apple Green. I just used Mango Melody. I might, on the, the green one that I did before, like I said, I might take some dyes and cut out some leaves. And I'm going to put a little blue in this time and see what happens. Blue, green, and sort of orangey. Just a little bit of blue. Okay. And I think this time I'm going to spritz it with water first and then come back with the champagne mist. Bam! <laughs> I love all the variation in colors you get. And the wetter you make it, see, you get, I got a little too much down here. The wetter you make it, the more the colors explode. So let me get the shimmer mist one out now. I'm going to make this run down towards the bottom a little bit. I'm going to slide. Okay. If you don't like getting your hands dirty, wear gloves when you use these. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to just go over it again with some alcohol and shimmer mist. Let's see what happens. I'm going to use the dryer again. Let me just get some of this off the top and bottom. There we go. Okay. The product is new since June, Maddie. They used to have, um, let me show you because I still have them, but they're, they're no longer available. They used to have these brushos, but the colors didn't match 
the Stampin' Up colors. And you have to actually, I, ne I don't think I ever used these. You have to actually put a push pin in these to use them and whatever. So anyway, I don't think I ever got to use them before they took them out of the catalog. But these are actually, they're called pigment sprinkles. Watercolor crystals pigment sprinkles. And they come in six, they come in this little box of six of the Stampin' Up colors. So they match the other colors in there papers and inks and stuff. All right, I'm going to do the uh, dryer. not completely dry but good enough so that's kind of cool right i can cut that apart and a couple make a couple different things this one is really pretty because it's so shimmery i don't know if you can see that there you can see some of that shimmer in there now with that one i just mostly used the shimmer mist with alcohol on it and this one i used water first and then the shimmer mist but these would make really pretty leaves and stuff too, like a nice fall background, right? I'm going to dab that off a little bit. So that's really what I've been playing with. And I have to figure out now what I'm going to do with it. These look like petal bursts to me. I love these two look especially. And that one looks like a center of a flower. And it just spread like a um, flower. Really cool. So... And let's see what were the other ones I did um, earlier. Earlier I did this one, which has a lot more deep purple and blue only. And then this one is smaller flowers because I use less of the melon mambo. And then that one. And then this one, which is kind of my least favorite. It kind of got too runny, I think. But I really like that one and that one and this one. <laughs> And this one, yeah, really is pretty. So, yeah, they carry those. They carry the spritzers in a two-pack. I don't remember how much they are, but they're not a whole lot of money. And I just label them with a Sharpie marker what's in them. So I remember, like, this is my water one, which is getting low. And then they also have the water brushes. And you could actually, you know, once you put them on there, you can just use your water brush, too, and do that. Um, and what else? I guess that's about it. And then they have the re-inkers, which are new. They're coming up um, September 4th for the metallic ink, Celestial Copper, Golden Glitz, and Silvery Shimmer. And they have something coming up, too, that's like, I haven't used it yet. Paige was asking me about this, the Shimmery Crystal Effects. It's supposed to be like um glossy accents but it has shimmer in it i don't know if you can see it probably not but let me turn this down Ooh, that's too dark <laughs> um there's there's like some sparkle in it so that's the difference and then they also have snowfall accents puff paint and they have some new glitter that's like um ice crystals i haven't used any of those yet so i'll be doing that soon so that's really all I have for today. Um, if you, again, if you sign up for Paper Pumpkin soon, <laughs> there are, right now, there are refill kits of the, um, they're not refill kits, I'm sorry, whole new kits available of the Gift of Fall, which is the one that makes these little bags. And there's also still some add-ons available as of yesterday. I haven't checked today. Uh, which is the card bases. Um, honestly, guys, I haven't figured out what I'm going to give away for this week. So I think I'm going to skip the giveaway this week. I'll come back next week and do a maybe do two drawing or two uh, giveaways next week. So I apologize for that. I'm just really been kind of out of it. Mixed packs as journaling cards. I have not. I have never done that before. <laughs> So, no, I haven't. Um, I never thought about that because I don't make journals. Um, 
but yeah, maybe I could do that. This is on watercolor paper. It gets kind of messy because it's been laying in the paper towel and stuff. And even went through on my mat. But um, I mostly make cards, you know, greeting cards and stuff. So, yeah, the water makes them really explode a little more. This one was the alcohol and it didn't, it stayed more crystally. But it, I think this would be pretty for like a birthday card background or something. For a girl, obviously, because pink and purple. Mm, so that would be pretty. But I've also been having a lot of fun with these masks, these stencils. <laughs> and the I love fall color, so I really like that one with the leaves. And the background stamps. And the bunnies. And the deer. <laughs> I actually really love that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. And this one's junk. And, you know, the swirl's really cool, too. I think we all, almost all said we like that one. And then these were the other ones. And that's pretty cool, too, because it shimmers. So that's about it. I'll come back and show you when I make cards. Oh, I wanted to show you um, last week... What I do with them. I had made these fun fold cards on Friday. I made these two. And then I showed you how to do the base of this one. But I didn't, um, unless you are on my Facebook group and go to my blog, you didn't see these. So I'll show them to you. Plus, I did the insides. I completely forgot about the insides when I did my fun fold Friday last week. So this one I just put happy Thanksgiving and put the turkey on. And then this one, I didn't put anything else on the outside. I used the Praiseworthy Pros stamp set and did friendship is a definition, friendly feelings, affection, a shared closeness, and happy birthday, which was out of Magnolia Bloom stamp set. And this one, I used um, this Christmas stamp set but it's in the annual catalog because it's carryover from last year and it goes with the bulb builder punch to punch out the little Christmas bulbs um, this paper is available on the 4th of September this one's available now this is perennial essence it's beautiful paper and by the way if you weren't here in the beginning Starting September 4th, along with the holiday catalog, Stampin' Up's doing um, buy three, get one free in designer series paper again, only for these papers. So if you want to do a screenshot, September 4th through the 30th, in addition to the holiday catalog, they're doing a buy three, get one free of designer series paper that's on this sheet. Um only for that month, September 4th through 30th. So just in case you didn't know that, these are almost all, they're all the ones in the annual catalog except the um, the ones that go with the color families. You know, the it does not include the ones that come in little packs like this that are like the subtles, regals, neutrals, that kind of stuff. But it includes almost all the other ones in the annual catalog on pages 165 through 167. So if you're interested, September 4th would be a good time to get some paper. Um, and also, the annual catalog and Nick's Crafty Corner is going to be having a party. And I'll be putting that host code down at the bottom of my videos. I'll also announce it. Um, but I don't want to set it up until the 3rd. And I'll announce it so that you guys can start using it on the 4th. Because it can only leave those codes open. Um so on this one, anyway, this paper is part of the Night Before Christmas paper coming up in the holiday catalog, and so is this. This is the backside of one of the sheets, and this is the backside of these uh, light bulbs. And I stamped in Poppy Parade, Pretty Peacock, and Crush Curry. And then these little stars actually came out of a product medley called um, Most Wonderful Time, I believe is what it's called. So like Most Wonderful Time of the Year kind of thing. And then inside, this is all from this same stamp set. Just says, Friends Make the Season Shine. I have little stars hanging down. 
And then I stamped this in crushed curry and just colored it in Poppy Parade, crushed curry, and I think pretty peacock. But those were done with these Stampin' Right markers, which are dye ink based markers, same ink that's in your stamp pads. So, um, and these are the in color ones for 2019 to 21. Pretty Peacock, Rococo Rose, Purple Posy, Seaside Spray, and Terracotta Tile. Otherwise, you can get a whole kit of all the colors called Many Marvelous Markers. Um, that's a little pricey, but they're about $15 for um, five colors, five uh, ink pens. Or 30 for the normal color families have 10 colors in them each and they're $30 for 10 markers. So anyway, those I made last week and I think there was something else I wanted to show you. I don't know. No, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, Tammy. So, yeah, those are my Fun Fold Friday cards from last Friday. If you missed that video, I'll try and remember to link it down below. This was from a rainbow collab. This was the giveaway for today. Um, I had made this little flip book. And Rebecca Bullock, if she watches this, you won the drawing this week. Um, and I still have all... Um, a lot of the prizes and gifts to get out for July and August, which I will be getting out in the mail next week to everybody that placed orders um, or won prizes in the last few weeks. They'll be going out next week. So stay tuned. Any questions, anybody? Remember, if you want to order anything now, there's always a link below my videos to my Stampin' Up! store. Here's the host code you can use until september 4th and then we're going to switch and use um next but the holiday catalog items don't start till september 4th the pigment sprinkles and the, some of the masks the stencils are available now but some some are not available till the fourth so the mandala the one that has the mandala the clouds the little bricks and the diamonds they're available now in a set um, they're called pattern party decorative masks and the new ones are um i think that's what they're called no, wait these are the i'm getting confused now anyway the new ones are in the holiday catalog and they're not available till the fourth those are the ones with the trees the swirls, the dots, and the leaves. <laughs> so if you're interested in any stencils, I'm pretty sure they're, let me tell you, $6 a pack, I think, of four. And the pigment sprinkles are $23. Okay, let me see if I can find them. Oh, sorry, guys. Of course not. <laughs> Can never find anything we want to. Okay, that's written. Nope. I don't know. I don't know the page number, but they're online. Just look up um, coloring tools or tools or something like that, and you'll find them in there. Um, and once the holiday catalog comes out on the screen on September 4th, you can just click on the catalog itself and shop that catalog for anything. Oh, thank you, Karina. Me too. Oh, good, Tammy. Well, you can use them as backgrounds. I use them. I don't know if I showed that last week. I guess I did. I used one on a card. Where is it? Uh, I don't know what I did with it. Anyway, I might have sent it off already or something. <laughs> I don't think so, though. It was a... Um, Card I had a coral background. This is one with the diamond backgrounds. So there's an example of how you can use the masks, the stencils, 
Um, this was done in a blue and a green, I think balmy blue and garden green. And then I just used a piece of the bird ballad, um, free as a bird paper. And then uh, stitched nested label dies. And I think that came out pretty. But I was going to show you another one where you can just use regular stamps. And I don't know what I do with it. So anyway, it's here somewhere. <laughs> Uh, so next week is um, Labor Day on Monday. I'll still try and have something on Tuesday night like I usually do. Um, and I'll probably do a, I don't know if I'll do a haul video or not for the box I just got in. I'll see how I feel. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good week, and I will talk to you hopefully next Tuesday, and um, hopefully maybe between now and then I'll share some cards that I've made with some of these or other things perhaps that I'll make with some of these, um, but probably using a combination of annual catalog stamp sets and holiday catalog stamp sets. So, yeah, have some fun and play with these things, and... If you love mixed media, yeah, look through the catalog with an open mind because we have all kinds of um, stamp sets now that are background stamps that you can use for mixed media, the sprinkles, the watercolor pencils, all kinds of stuff. Thank you, Paige. Thank you, Brandy. You too. You feel better soon too, I hope. Bye, everybody. And thank you for the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Oops, I can't type. Have a great day.